Hey guys, welcome back to the garden. So I'm over here with my carrots and uh, in today's video I'm going to be thinning some of these carrots out so that I can create room for the ones that are going to remain to grow some big carrots beneath the ground. Uh, the ones that I'm going to thin out, I'm going to use the carrot tops to create a carrot top FPJ, the fermented tan juice which is rich in calcium. So let's get to thinning out uh, some of these carrots and making that FPJ. So guys, if you'd like to learn more about this carrot top FPJ, stick to the end of the video so that you don't miss any of the important information that I'll be sharing with you. And please uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like so that I know that you like this type of videos and I'll keep making more of them. Okay, so when you are collecting the carrot tops for the FPJ, this is something that you'd like to do early in the morning. The reason being that... Um, this is the time when the microbes are still active on the carrot tops. You can see that there is still some morning dew on my carrot top leaves. And this is the perfect time to harvest uh, these carrot tops for making the FPJ. So I'm sure you can see that uh, my carrots are closely packed. And uh, this is not productive at all. They are not going to grow big carrots this way. So I need to thin them. And I will use the tops of the thinned carrots to make this uh, fermented carrot top juice that I'm going to use to water my tomato plants to supply them with calcium, which will help them in developing their fruit. So guys, uh, let me set my camera. Okay, so now I've got a whole bunch of uh, carrot tops and uh, some baby carrots. I'm just going to trim off um, the baby carrots and I'll be left with the carrot tops. And uh, the baby carrots, we are going to use them in our cooking. These are not going to waste at all. So you just want to make sure that you knock off uh, as much dirt as possible as we are not going to wash these leaves so I'm just going to put uh, these baby carrots aside and I will deal with them later so this is what you are going to need some container which you are going to use to mix your ingredients and here are my carrot tops which I've just knocked out uh, as much dirt as possible. You're also going to need some brown sugar, which you are going to mix with the carrot tops, and this will extract the juices from the carrot tops. You also need a glass container, which you are going to put your ingredients in, and uh, this is the glass in which they are going to ferment. So you want to make sure that this is sterilized and uh, it is clean, so that no bad bacteria is inside this container. You also need uh, a toilet paper which you are going to use to cover the materials in this glass container. Then you also need your cutting board so that uh, you can chop your carrot tops to increase their surface area so that you get as much um, liquid as possible from these carrot tops. So right now I'm going to sterilize uh, my glass jar. I'm just going to pour some hot water in here so that uh, any bacteria that is inside this jar is going to die. Okay, let me put that aside. So while I wait for the bacteria to die, I'm going to chop uh, my carrot tops. So that I can increase the surface area. I also need to disinfect my knife. So 
so I just need to make sure that I cut these carrot tops into as much smaller pieces as I can so that uh, I can increase their surface area. Okay, now I'm sure my carrot tops are smaller enough and uh, I've increased their surface area. So let me pour out this water in here. I think now my glass has been sterilized. So I'll just uh, dry the outside of the glass and um, let it sit for a bit uh, until it cools down. So at this point, I now want to mix the sugar with the carrot tops. So the standard thing is that you should weigh the carrot tops and make sure that you mix the carrot tops to equal parts of sugar. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to estimate the weight of these carrot tops and the weight of my sugar. And I think uh, the weight is much equal as possible. So I'm just going to pour this sugar in here. and mix it with the carrot tops I need to make sure that I mix uh, my sugar in uh, my carrot tops as much as possible until I start feeling some moisture starting to form in me And now I can put uh, these materials inside my glass jar. Okay, this is the amount of materials that I've got. Okay, so now what you'd like to do is to cover these materials with a layer of sugar on top so that no molds are going to grow. I'm back with the sugar and I'm just going to pour it in here and to make sure that uh, the surface is totally covered. Okay, so now I want to close this uh, jar with um, my materials for the FPJ and I'm going to use this toilet paper which is a breathable material. So I'm just going to fold it once like this and I've got this string here which I'm going to use to tie the toilet paper to the jar. Okay guys, so this is now ready to ferment and I'm going to put this in a cooler box where no direct light or any artificial light is going to get to this is that will contribute to the growing of mold in this container. So let me go grab my cooler box and place this uh, container inside there for it to start fermenting. Okay, so I'm going to leave my glass jar in here for my carrot FPJ to ferment. This is uh, the perfect cool dry place where no artificial or natural light is going to get to my container. So what I'm going to do is that I'm not going to close this um, cooler box completely, but I'll leave some small space for it to go through so that uh, my FPJ will not go bad. So this is just about it, about the carrot FPJ. We'll come back in about um, four to five days and I think uh, this will be ready and I will show you the results by then. 
so for now let's get back to our carrots okay so i've just finished thinning out the carrots and i left the ones that i saw that are they are the strongest ones so i'm going to allow this to grow big so while i was at it i saw that i've got an aphid problem on my carrots i'm not sure if you can see that uh, but i'm sure you can see the ends that are moving around these are farming aphids on my carrots so this is not good at all i have to address this immediately before i lose uh, my carrots okay so i think i've just got the right solution for the aphid problem over here i've got uh, some vinegar which i made from my last uh, carrot top fpj so i'm going to strain this into this uh, glass and dilute it and i'll use it to spray on my carrots and i'm sure this is going to solve my problem so just about this is enough and i'm going to leave this uh, to continue going here's my one liter spray bottle so i'm going to dilute the vinegar 10 past one so i want 100 ml of this uh, vinegar so now i'm going to dilute uh, this 10 past one one part vinegar So now let's go back to the carrots and spray them with this uh, carrot top vinegar. Okay, so I've brought my vinegar solution to spray at the base of my carrots. Hopefully this is going to address the, the aphid problem. I'm hoping on this solution to help me deal with these aphids so I'm just going to spray this and wait to see the results but I'm crossing my fingers this is supposed to work so at this point let me thank you for watching this video up to this end and if you have found this video useful and interesting, please like and leave a comment below so that I know you like this video. And also share this video with uh, some of your friends so that they can also see this video and at least they will benefit something from it. So thank you guys. I will see you in the next video.